Hello, and thank you again for joining me for this reflection from Liberton Kirk. I hope you're keeping safe and that you've had the opportunity to enjoy the lovely weather we have been having over the past few days. I've been on holiday for the last couple of weeks, which has meant I've had more time than usual to look at the posts friends have been putting up on Facebook. A number of people have shared a post commenting on how hard the current restrictions are on people who like a good hug. We all know someone like that. Whenever we look at TV or read the paper, we're being told how important it is to keep our distance from others, to stay at home, to wash our hands. If we didn't know the correct technique for this before, we certainly do now. At least you still have a choice as to whether you sing happy birthday twice over or Jesus' hands were kind hands while you wash. In the Gospels, we see a very different picture. Whereas now, we regard touch as a source of risk, a way of passing on infection and currently something to be avoided at all costs. But with Jesus, touch brought healing. I would like to share a passage from Matthew's Gospel with you, reading from chapter 9, verse 27, to the end of the chapter. As he went on from there, Jesus was followed by two blind men, shouting, Have pity on us, son of David. When he had gone indoors, they came to him, and Jesus asked, Do you believe that I have the power to do what you want? We do, they said. Then he touched their eyes and said, As you have believed, so let it be. And their sight was restored. Jesus said to them sternly, See that no one hears about this. But as soon as they had gone out, they talked about him all over the region. They were on their way out when a man was brought to them who was dumb and possessed by a demon. The demon was driven out, and the dumb man spoke. The crowd was astonished and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. So Jesus went round all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing every kind of illness and infirmity. The sight of the crowds moved him to pity. They were like sheep without a shepherd, harassed and helpless. Then he said to his disciples, The crop is heavy, but the labourers too few. You must ask the owner to send labourers to bring in the harvest. The sight of the crowds moved him to pity. There are many examples in the Gospels of Jesus touching people and laying on hands to bring healing. But if we look more closely at the words of the passage, we realise that the touch is just a symbol of something much deeper. It's a way of showing love or pity, a way of demonstrating Jesus' love for his people. Jesus' love for us exists even when we're unaware of it. It is present long before we ever turn to him for help and healing. In the Church of Scotland, we baptise babies not because they understand what's going on or of their own free will, but as a sign, as a reminder to us of God's love for them, which has been through all time. We love because he first loved us. At a time like this, how much are we like the sheep without a shepherd? Faced with the challenges presented by COVID-19 and what that means for our health service, for our economy, as well as for ourselves personally, there are plenty of people feeling harassed and helpless at the moment. So hugging may not exactly be in favour but what other gestures can we use to show our love for others? Maybe a phone call to a neighbour to see how they're getting on. 
perhaps offering to get shopping for someone who is self-isolating, or even a smile as you pass people when you're out for a walk. All of these are symbols of God's love passed on through us. On Saturday, I watched coverage of the Holy Fire Ceremony from the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. The Holy Fire is an important part of the celebration of Easter in the Orthodox churches. A fire lit at the tomb of Christ is passed out from person to person, being flown to distant countries to light the candles which are a symbol of Christ's resurrection. If you have ever been to our Christingle or the Peace Light service, you will have a good idea of what is involved. The crop is heavy, but the labourers are too few. You must ask the owner to send labourers to bring in the harvest. Each one of us has a part to play in spreading God's love, of passing on a symbol of his care to those who might be feeling harassed and helpless at the moment, to those who most need to hear the good news of Jesus rising from death in this season of Easter. For everyone who loves a hug, it's hard at the moment, but it won't be forever. Jesus loves you and will be with you always. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your love for us. You need us to share in your work. Help us to find ways to pass on your love to those who need it most, to those who are lonely, isolated or scared. We ask for healing for the sick. Bless the work of medical staff, the doctors, nurses and other NHS specialists who are so much in our prayers at this time. Thank you that through Jesus we can grow to understand just how much you care for us. Help us to share that love with others. Amen.